Ladies and gentlemen, we present The Navy Lark by Laurie Wyman and starring John Pertwee, Leslie Phillips and Stephen Murray. I suppose we all learn eventually that things aren't always what they seem to be. Even an experienced navigating officer like Sub-Lieutenant Phillips can occasionally find his calculations are ever so slightly misleading. <laughs> now then, um... With the wind coming from a blunt end, <laughs> plus a 5% allowance for anticyclone approaching my warm front, <laughs> you take away the remainder, which won't go, so you borrow one to make it uh, left hand down a bit. <laughs> left hand down a bit, please, sir. Nicely, nicely. What is it? Shade more. Shade more, sir. Steady at that. Arbor entrance dead red now, sir. Permission to lash the helm immovable in case you change your mind, sir. <laughs> well, now, be fair, Chief. Let him play. You just don't trust Leslie, do you? <laughs> I say you don't just trust Leslie, do you? Oh, I'm sorry, sir. Uh, we didn't know you was expecting an argument. <laughs> right, that settles it. I'll jolly will show you. I'll take us straight through the harbour entrance like a shot from a gun. Full ahead, both, Chief. Full ahead, both it is, sir. Oh, Mr. Phillips, there's a tug of two barges steaming right across our bows. I've seen them. Now, don't worry. There's bags of room. <laughs> I'm going to zoom straight between the two barges. No, Mr. Phillips, sir, you can't. Look, those two barges... <laughs> I don't understand. I'm, I was aiming to go between them. How did we manage to get bashed by a barge on each side? You hit the hawser that was stretched between them, Mr. Phillips. Well, it's hardly my fault. They should have tied a red handkerchief on it or something. <laughs> you stupid lot of no-nothing navy blue nanas! Look what you've been a-gone and done. You've cut me toe rope and bent me barges. I'll have the law on you for this. Stunt me. It's Uncle Ebenezer. Quick, Mr. Phillips, look, get us out of here before he starts jumping up and down and throwing lumps of red-hot coal at us. Full of stand both. Full of stand both at you, sir. No, no, stop, you friggin' fatties. Use your rear view mirror, can't ya? Whoa! <laughs> Done, Mr. Phillips. <laughs> oh, thanks very much. <laughs> what did I do? You reversed into Nunky's tug, sir. And you caught him a forkly one right in his boiler. <laughs> oh, nasty. You rotten lot, you put me fire out. How am I going to tow me barges back to the loading dock now? Grab the oarses between your national health choppers and swim for it, you <laughs> <laughs> Oh! Oh! Well, well, if it's going to be names... You know what you are, John Z, don't you? You're a... Good, <laughs> and so was your father before you. <laughs> nice timing, Chief. My pleasure, sir. Could we proceed into harbour, sir? I think we'd better. Mm, slow ahead both, if you think it's safe, Chief. Slow ahead both, and we'll know in a minute it is, sir. I'm beginning to think the only naval training Mr Phillips ever had was when he wore a little sailor suit and sailed his little clockwork boat on a duck pond. <laughs> yeah, and I bet even then he rammed a duck. <laughs> well, you're both jolly well wrong. I was properly trained as an officer cadet. I went to Sandhurst when I was 18. <laughs> <laughs> Sandhurst? Mr Phillips, Sandhurst is for the army. I know. That's where I was supposed to go, but I... I caught the wrong train and finished up at Dartmouth. <laughs> yeah, brilliant navigation, sir. Even for a novice. And uh, what happened then? Well, if you really want to know, I'll tell you. It all began the moment I arrived. <laughs> well, 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 and whatever you hear? We're the new cadets, actually, Chief Petty Officer. I knew that, lad, and in future you'll speak when you're spoken to, which isn't very likely, so batten your chatty-dats, will you? 
Now, first of all, I'm very surprised to see you. Horrified by the look of you, but surprised to see you. I thought you were expecting. Hello, another sea lawyer. You can screw your scut and shut it all, eh? Now then, my name is Chief Petty Officer Bull. And if any of you wishes to suggest a witty variation on that, he can run up and down the hill on his hands and knees until I get him to stop. <laughs> OK, then, right. We haven't signed in yet, Chief. Stone me. We've got another one that can write. <laughs> well, don't start showing off your gift on the walls, will you? And within these portals, our well-nigh impossible task is to try and make a man of you. That's why we ordered you in batches of six. It takes six horrible, scruffy cadets to make one man. It also takes time, and as I haven't got much and you've got less, get fed! Come on, come on! Slap it about, chop, chop! Those who's keen get felling yesterday! All right, you six! At in! Hup! All right! Their lordship must be having me on. This is a new one on me. One cadet short I've had, even two short I've had, but never one over. <laughs> Oi, you brown job. Step forward. Step forward, let's have a look at you. What's your name? I, I'm Cadet Philip, Sergeant. Sergeant? <laughs> Sergeant. <laughs> You'll be addressing the commander as Colonel next. Thank you for me, lad. Your tailor has dropped the clangor of a lifetime. Well, I don't think it's altogether his fault, actually. I was a bit suspicious something had gotten wrong at the time. Time? Well, what time? The time when you said this was the Royal Naval College, Dartmouth. I should be at the Royal Military College, Sandhurst. Ooh, you're going to be a pongo, are you? <laughs> well, I'd rather not bother, actually. I'd probably get lost again. It's getting late, so do you think I could join your army instead? <laughs> My army? My army happens to be the Navy, in case you hadn't noticed. Oh, well, never mind. That'll do. Uh, what do I do first, Sergeant? You stop calling Chief Petty Officer Sergeant for a start! Ah. <laughs> All right, you honourable others, dismiss and find your way back to quarters in the main block. I'm going to take our gallant soldier boy here to the divisional commanding officer and see if he can be turned into a scruffy, horrible cadet like you lot. Right, cadet Philip, attend! Stop banging me with your perishing suitcase! Or I'll chop it over the handle! Come here. I, I was told to... Lummy. <laughs> Are you the divisional commanding officer? Hmm? Cool. <laughs> Hardly. I'm his secretary, as a matter of fact. Oh, congratulations. <laughs> what do you want, anyway? A chief petty officer, Bull, told me to wait here while he sees if the silly old codger in there can sort me out. Oh. Well, I imagine he'll be able to sort you out, all right. Good. Well, I hope the stupid old twit doesn't take too long, or I'll be too late to take you to the pictures. I've already seen it. Good. Then we needn't bother to waste time watching. Them. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir? Oh, right away, sir. You can go in. Daddy will see you now. Oh, thanks, sir. <laughs> Pardon? That stupid old twit and silly old codger happens to be my daddy. I think I want to die. <laughs> then would you mind doing so in Daddy's office and not mine? Just knocking in. Thanks. Uh, come in, come in, shut the door. There's a draft. How do you do, sir? Damn badly. Damn badly. Now, uh, let's see. <laughs> yes, 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 I'll... Uh... You're the chap who's got himself into this frightful mess, aren't you? I'm afraid I am, sir. Uh, well, now, uh, I think we can fix you up. Uh, I've, got the, uh, I've got the form here somewhere. Uh, let's see, now, where did I put it? I uh, had it a minute ago. Uh, uh, would it be the one you're holding in your hands? Huh? Uh, very probably, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> uh, let's see, yes, uh, here it is. Yes, this is it, yes. Ah, this is it, mm, yes. Uh, <clears throat> application for the transfer of personnel into service. Uh, such transfer can... Well, I'm sorry, for... And the number of water cannons saying, Blanc, yeah, yeah. Simply, and the number of water cannons saying, yeah. Providing that all, even if it was the Lord of the Clever, the end of the water. Ah, yes. In every case except cooks. Are you a cook? No, sir, I'm a Phillips. <laughs> 
You're a what? Phillips. Oh, well, that's all right, then. Yes. Now, here, let's see. <laughs> if the, uh, if the transfer to even if it's on the phone, please leave. Well, somebody, I've got a lot of people. Yeah, I've got a lot of people. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You follow me? Good. Uh, uh, sure. Use <laughs> or her previous, give me the mother, uh, in or out of the balance. You haven't, have you? <laughs> Not for years. <laughs> fine, 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 yes. Right, now, now, here we go. Now, here we go. Really? Yes, now. Further to the above. <laughs> and in consideration of... <laughs> providing the consent of both commanding officers... <laughs> for a period of time, not less than... Uh... <laughs> yes. Well, that's clear enough. <laughs> you don't object to any of that, do you? I don't see how I could, sir. No, no, no. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Yes, they are pretty, pretty straightforward, these forms, aren't they? Yes. <clears throat> now then, sign here, then. Yes, that's it. That's it. And there. Yes, and there. No, no, not there, you fool. No, that's my chit from the wall. <laughs> <laughs> Report outside to uh, Chief Body Officer Bull, and he'll take you for your medical. But I've already passed a medical, sir, for the army. Not like this one, you haven't. <laughs> The army only wants to know if you've got two feet to go up and down. The navy wants to know if you're waterproof. <laughs> uh, excuse me, uh, Cadet Phillips, a medical inspection. Is this the doctor's surgery? Anywhere else, probably. In the navy, it's called a sick bay. Strip off. Certainly. Now, where shall I... Do what? I said strip off. We can't tell if a banana is sound until we've peeled it. <laughs> I'm not a banana. Don't quibble. You're roughly the same shape. <laughs> Jacket and shirt for a start. I'm not going to expose my chest in public. <laughs> chest? You call that a chest? You look more like a half-inch rope with a knot in it. <laughs> if you're going to be personal about it... We're not. <laughs> now, hurry up. I see you've got one for me. Yes, Doctor. What would be wrong with it? Is it infectious, contagious, uh, malingering, or a complete write-off? Uh, I'm just here for a medical inspection, Doctor. Uh, medical inspection? Yeah, yeah. Well, we'll just have to do the best we can with what little we've got. <laughs> now, take his chest measurement, will you? Yes, Doctor. Now, uh, breathe out. Uh, measurement, nurse. Normal. And you're not going to believe this. 26 inches. Incredible. <laughs> Right, uh, breathe in, deeper, and again. Measurement knot? 26 inches. <laughs> Try once more, cadet. <laughs> and a half, sir. <laughs> <sighs> well, congratulations, young man. You mean I'm fit? No, but you're still breathing. <laughs> Now, can you move both arms and both legs? Well, of course I can. Look. You can, too. Amazing. How many fingers am I holding up? Three. Hey, well, you'll be able to get about all right. <laughs> uh, now, uh, I'll just give you your inoculations and you can carry on. Uh, roll his shirt sleeve up, Nuss. Hasn't got his shirt on, Doctor. He's not. Well, I've never seen an arm as white as that before. <laughs> uh, right, hold still. Now. <laughs> Sorry, nurse. That's the fourth time you've inoculated me instead of a cadet this week. Yeah, they really must get these glasses changed. Uh, now, where's Phillips gone? Down there, Doctor. He's fainted. Oh, well, that makes it easier. There. Uh, when he comes round, send him back to his quarters for a good night's sleep. He'll need it when he faces the physical training instructor in the morning. Um, sideways, upwards, forwards, down. Sideways, upwards, forwards, down. Sideways, upwards, forwards, down. Here and rest. You in front there, airplane legs. <laughs> What's your name? Cadet Phillips, Chief. 
Well, Cadet Phillips, can you explain to me why, when everyone else was going sideways, upwards, forwards, down, you were going forwards, downwards, sideways, up? Well, it wasn't my fault, Chief. You were going too fast. I've got a little behind, you see. <laughs> to be left behind permanent. I don't know why they do it. Do what? Send me something to physical train that ain't even physical. <laughs> That's jolly unkind, Chief. I've got the makings of a first-class athlete. Mm, you wouldn't even make the elastic round his shorts. <laughs> oh, well, seeing as you're so confident, the rest of the class can stand easy while I put you through your bases. I'd rather you didn't, actually. Jumping a stride over the vaulting horse. Do you think you can do that? Oh, that's like playing leapfrog, isn't it? Very similar, except mm. that this here horse is four feet long. Right, off you go. <laughs> ah! Ooh! <laughs> Sorry, Dad, my head, that one's four feet six long. <laughs> I had noticed, actually. Yes, yeah, well, you know, next time. Now then, do you think you could summon up your enormous physical powers and climb up them wall bars? Well, I'll try, but it's a bit tricky. They go straight up. Perpendicular, they are. But it's no problem, lad. Them bars is a ladder. And there's a beautiful blonde sitting at the top waiting for you to elope with her. I say, is there really? <laughs> All right, lad, you can come down now. Sit now. Run back to your place. I can't. The bars are in the way. <laughs> you great animated pipe cleaner, you finished up between the bars and the wall. Now, anybody... <laughs> I always go down the back way through force of habit. <laughs> what, what shall I do now, Chief? Don't ask me. You've presented us with quite a problem. You'll just have to hope we can get you out of here in time for your passing out day. See you, don't worry. We've got three years to think about that. <laughs> Sit down there, Cadet Phillips. Uh, thank you, Lieutenant. D do you know what I'm here for? Oh, wow, well, uh, the captain in command wants a word with you before you go in front of your passing out ball. <laughs> ah, the captain in command is ready to see you now. Off you go. Uh, thanks. Uh, Naval Phillips is cadet reporting, sir. Uh, I mean, uh, Cadet Naval Phillips is... Uh... Don't worry, Phillips. Everybody knows who you are. Especially me. <laughs> You, sir? Yes. That's why I'm having a last look at you before you go in front of the board. I want to see what we've done for you, and I want you to see what you've done to me. <laughs> Phillips, how old will you say I am? Well, sir, give or take a year, about 65. Very kind. Most people say 70. Really, sir? How old are you, sir? 43. <laughs> Now, where, where do you hope to go after you leave here, Phillips? Well, I'd rather like to be posted to the School of Navigation, It's sir. very suitable. You know what they call the Navigation School in the Royal Navy? No, sir. The Wreckers Retreat. <laughs> You'd have fitted well in there. Now, off you go for your interview. You mustn't keep the board waiting. Besides, the quicker you see them, the quicker you'll be back in civilian life. Yeah, thanks very much, sir. Not at all. And good luck to all who sail without you all. <laughs> Right all, right all. Settle down now, please. The next victim's here. Now then, lad, what's your name? Cadet Phillips, sir. Phillips? Heck, you thump, it's D-Day. Oh, well. <laughs> we'll have to go on with it. There's no turning back now. My name's Captain Hardcastle. You better meet the rest of the board. This one's Lieutenant Commander Weatherby. I'm delighted to do it. a great pleasure to... <laughs> what, sir? Very <laughs> pleased to meet you, sir. Uh, now, technical officer on the end is, uh, 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 no, it's no good. It's gone. It's gone. What's your name, old man? It's Hatcherson. Actually, oh, yeah. but before we start, I must apologise in ad advance because I'm suffering from a singularly vicious attack of hay fever. 
I'd have guessed that, funny enough. <laughs> do you know what you're allergic to, sir? Oh, yes, I do. Unfortunately, uh, for someone in my profession, I'm allergic to seawater and... and... Uh, 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 ozone. <laughs> Come on, let's get on with it. I'm getting wetter every minute. <laughs> now then, lad, what makes you think you'd make a good officer, eh? Well, sir, I've got the powers of leadership. Oh. I always have had, you know. Even when I was at prep school, my headmistress always used to put me in charge of the others. Mm. I remember once when we were in the locker room, changing into football togs, we were just taking off our... Bail, bail. What was the headmistress doing, changing her togs in your locker room, then? <laughs> Well, it was half time. I, I mean, I mean, I, I wasn't. Uh, no, she she was offside. No, no. I mean, she was outside left. Well, she was left out outside. I mean, um, my whistle had gone. You see. I mean, uh, uh, and, uh, I mean, how could I have another question, please? Please, I have a problem. 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 I have a <laughs> you may as well sit down, lad. We're going to take hours at this rate. We've got dozens of questions to ask yet. Yes, including whether he can do addition, addition, addition. He builds them up for himself. You know. Addition, addition, addition. <laughs> Then, after I left the School of Navigation, I was posted to Trowbridge. I, I still don't understand how you managed to get passed out. Well, that's obvious, sir. Captain Atchison would never have been able to say, Commission refuse, without doing himself a disaster call. <laughs> yeah, and I know what Commander Weatherby would have said. Commission to the Admiral and the Admiral and the Admiral and the Admiral and the Admiral. He'll never be an awful, 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 Never mind how it happened, I passed. So you're all wrong, aren't you? I did have proper naval training. Yes, sir. And very good you are at it, too. Otherwise, how could you have managed to steer us up this little bit of a stream with only two foot of sea room on either side? Well, naturally, once you've been trained, you never lummy. <laughs> how did that happen? Oh, it was easy. You were so busy listening to you telling your autobiography that you sailed us right past our berth, right past the docks, right through the shallows. Right up a creek without a paddle. <laughs> Stop engines, uh, stop engines. I wouldn't bother. We stuck on a mud bank ten minutes ago. What? Abandon the ship! Abandon the ship! No seaboat! That won't be necessary either, sir. You can step ashore. <laughs> either side. You know, your navigation instructor would be proud of you. Uh... Hello, you lot! What have you done this time? <laughs> Tied up for a picnic? <laughs> it's Uncle Ebenezer and his tug, it would have to be, wouldn't it? He's come to glute. Oi! Bristle puss! Can you tow us all? Not likely. I'll give you a push further on if you like. <laughs> well, have a heart, Nunky. Nunky, you're a steaming great twisting old... <laughs> Am I? Well, you're a lot of... <laughs> yeah, and you're a... <laughs> and you're a... John Pertwee, Leslie Phillips and Stephen Murray have been doing some historical research in The Navy Lark, written by Laurie Wyman. John Pertwee was the Chief Petty Officer, the Divisional Officer and Commander Weatherby. Leslie Phillips was the Cadet, rising meteorically to Sub-Lieutenant. Stephen Murray was the Number One, the Doctor and the Officer Commanding Dartmouth. The PT Instructor was played by Richard Caldicott. The Nurse was Heather Chasen. Chief Petty Officer Bull and Captain Hardcastle, Ronnie Barker. Captain Atchison, Michael Bates, and Uncle Ebenezer was played by Tanya Evans. The show was produced for the BBC by Alistair Scott Johnston. Mm -hmm.